<laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 50,000 IQ. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 50,000 IQ, right? Okay, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, just... Yeah. Yeah. 50,000. Yeah, 50,000. Perfect. Just amazing. Yeah, just... Yeah, because, like, yeah, just... Because niggas just have 50,000 IQ and shit. Yeah, right? Because that, cause that can be measured and shit, right? Because, uh, okay. Alright, interesting. Black crosses, 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 team nauseous, team nauseous. You know what I always gotta start with the whoopie doo doo doo. Whoopie doo. Alright, Chetties, we have an ooh foo foo. I think Sinister, you made this one, right? Didn't you? This, uh. Yes, all right, bet. So right here, all right, YouTube, first things first. Actually, my friendly lower the volume a tad bit so y'all can hear my voice just a little bit more. All right, so YouTube, what's going on? All right, what's going on, chat? So tonight we have a ooh foo foo. Every now where ooh foo foo is very simply, it's Basically, a uh, tournament type of style, of tier list type of thing where basically we keep putting two things, you know, two things against each other until one of them, you know, finishes victorious. That's like the best of them all. So right here we have anime characters. All right, uh, all of them based off of, like the highest IQ is what this is what all is all is all about. So, uh, so look. So we're gonna see who which anime character is has the highest IQ. All right, I have an idea who I might you know who I personally might choose, but when it, when it narrows down to like the last you know last few, it's gonna get tough for real for real. But let's just start. It. All right, let's start it off. All right, Norman and Kakashi, bro, already. Fuck. Okay. Um. Shit. Okay. Let me let me explain my reasoning behind each per each person here because these two have done insane shit, but one of them has done way beyond. Like you know what I mean? Now Kakashi. All right. Kakashi, does, yeah, he does have IQ. He does have high, you know, high IQ, shit like that. I mean, you know, come on, he is the copy ninja. You know what I mean? Uh, but a lot, of, a lot of Kakashi's IQ really falls under just more like ninja esque type of like shit. And I mean, and he also has IQ for such like survival tactics as well. Obviously, you know what I mean? I mean, he is a, he is a smart. He is pretty smart. But Kakashi. Believe it or not, I mean, he's not the smart. He's not the smartest. He's not the smartest person in his own, you know, universe, though. You know, what I mean, he's smart, but not the smartest person in his universe. Type shit. Norman, though, look at here, bro. This nigga Norman. First of all, let me, let me, let's start. Let's, let's just get, let's get, let's just throw it out the way. Let's just get, let's get out, let's get out, let's get out, let's get out of the way. All right, this nigga Norman, bro. He was smart enough, and look, I'm going off. I'm I'm basing off of Promise Neverland season one. All right, season two, we don't talk about season two. All right, that never never existed, it never happened. We don't talk about it. It, it just out the window. Okay, all right. As far as as far as I'm concerned, there's only one season of Promise Neverland, and that was it. All right, they never they never continued after that. But anyways, this nigga Norman, bro, is a is literally a genius, like literally a genius. He was outsmarting. Full grown adults, you understand that? Outsmarting full grown adults type shit, bro. This nigga somehow managed to what happened in season two, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about? What season? What season two? What are you talking about? What happened? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. There, there, were, there is no season two. There is no season two. <laughs> but there was, but there was a season two of Promise Neverland, you know. One thing I would hope they that, that that they never did is you know basically like cut all like basically like you know jam pack the whole last few the whole last few arcs of the manga 
into like a, a five minute clip of just still images and shit in the last episode. You know, I would hope they never. I would hope they never done that and shit. That, that that's just that's one thing I hope they they would have never done. You know, if they made season two. You know what I mean? But that's just my that's just me personally. Us never let us finished. Yeah, bro, it's not coming back. It's not coming back. It, it's done, bro. It's done, bro. <laughs> Good looks. Look, I could find you like a fan made video. A fan made video of the last episode, of the last five minutes of the last episode of season two. And I I'm telling you, it, it was God, it was dog shit awful. Horrible. Just horrible. I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck, like, what, like, what they were even, like, you know what I mean? Like, no. It, it was just. Duh. It, 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 bro, it was like. <laughs> that, like, literally, what they did, they took a fat middle finger, right? And they're like, oh, you want the rest of the story, right? Well, here, bitch. Here. Here's the rest of the fucking story. Yeah, fuck you. You're never gonna get it, motherfucker. <laughs> Bye. That's literally what they fucking did to all of us. All of us. That shit, that, that, that was a crazy sign off. They, they just, they just, they just looked at us in the face, laughed at our faces, and they just, no. Whoop, tui, take that pussy. And then they fucking turn off the damn, um, the whole fucking recording. That's, that's what, that's what happened, bro. That's literally what happened. So, you know what? Yeah, fuck them for that. You know, fuck them for doing that. Now, back to Norman, all right? Norman is a fucking genius, all right? Literally, I'm not even like he was literally like for what he did, bro. He outsmarted several adults. Mind you, look, mind you, he was only 12 years old. He was only 12 years old doing this. A 12 year old, by the way. Keep in mind, keep that in mind, bro. We don't know how, bro. We do not know how smart Norman would have been if you know, you know, time lapse. Let's say he was like Kakashi's age. And Norman was Kakashi's age, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. That nigga be on top unstoppable type shit. But um, did he die? Uh, have you watched Promise? I mean I, I can't really say. But if you haven't if you haven't watched the first season, I can't really say. But yes. For what he did though, bro, this net this man somehow managed to outsmart full-grown adults and and managed to get you haven't oh fuck well if you know, you don't get spoiled i mean i would i would definitely move the stream just you know kind of throwing that out there but um yeah basically outsmart full-grown adults somehow managed to get all of his brother his you know orphan brothers and sisters well not all but most of his orphan brothers and sisters out of the um you know out of the orphanage and uh, over the wall dude this kid's a genius bro like he, I, I think he he definitely has a higher iq than kakashi like he definitely like, definitely does as a 12 year old mind you as a 12 year old mind you. i'm not saying kakashi didn't have a high iq when he was younger too either i mean he did have a high he did have a high iq but compared to norman though bro norman was the only thing Kashi had over Norman is the fact that the nigga, he just was a ninja. And he could fight. If Norman had the same, you know, skills, like, you know, combat skills that Kakashi had, bro, he'd probably be on, like, a Tashi level of, like, IQ. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, that nigga's a genius. So, I, I, gotta, go, I gotta go with Norman here, bro. Gotta go with Norman. It's, it's only, it's only, it only makes sense to why I would go for that. Renner and Vince Smoke. Hmm. See, I never watched Overlord, so I can't say too much about Render. But uh, I mean, those of y'all who have who have watched it, I mean, I guess uh, elaborate, you know, about Render. Like, is she really like that smart, or like, you know, elaborate a little bit? Because I haven't, I honestly don't. I never watched Overlord before. Hmm. Vid Smoke. I mean, he was basically a scientist. I mean, or not basically, he was, he was a scientist. And he basically made all of his children in a lab who also became, you know, fucking superhuman cyborgs and shit. So, I mean, I mean, hey, I mean, he definitely did, I mean, yeah, he has, 
some level of IQ. I mean, you, know, like, you can just have some level of IQ. I, I won't, I won't deny that. Especially for how strong he made them niggas. I mean, yeah. I don't like. He is still a piece of shit for what he does. He is still a piece of. I mean, he's still. A, I mean, he is still a piece of shit father. I'm not gonna lie to you. But, I mean, yeah, he does have some IQ. Renner is smart as fuck. Was princess of a whole kingdom since a jit. Really? So many scientific adventures he got. Just crazy. What like what's like what's some like what's some like what's some smart shit she's done like uh you know she plotted and sold her whole kingdom out to benefit herself so you know, you know I just make her like a snake or some shit would not just make her like a snake or some bullshit <laughs> that's that's some snake shit I don't know I don't know that's like you know what I mean that's kind of fuck that's kind of crazy. She fooled everyone. Mm, she a narcissist. I see. Well, if, honestly, I mean, <clears throat> she grim manipulating niggas. Interesting. <clears throat> I mean, in all honesty, I mean, if we're looking at Vince Smoke, I mean. I mean, he was definitely. I mean, look, he, I mean, he like for what he did. I mean, he was pretty smart. I won't lie. I mean, like, he's a scientist, but I mean, he ain't really outsmart anyone like that. I mean, his IQ is not like you know, like you know. What I mean, I mean, he has a high IQ, but like it ain't like you know. What I mean, like you know. What I mean, judge got it though. I mean, as far as I could, as far as far as I remember, he was just a he was just a piece of shit to to Sanji and abused him, neglected him, and basically tried to train him into become like a fucking you know superhuman, which didn't work. But I mean, yeah, uh, uh, uh no. she also has deciphered uh, secret codes used by eight fingers syndicate. Uh, syndicate something no one else was able to do. Interesting. Hmm. Are you making a manga? I heard. Alright. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Renner, but those y'all on YouTube, if y'all if y'all have watched Overlord, try and like I guess, you know, I, I don't know, like, you know, break it down a little bit more, that way I can understand more about it. Just so I'm like, you know, not too out of touch. But Hanji and Meruem. I lie to you. I, I I say I think Hanji. I'm a, I'm gonna go with Hanji. I go lie to you. I might have to go with Hanji here. And the only reason why, only reason why I probably go with her over Meruem. Look, Meruem was smart. I don't lie. Meruem was smart. Don't get don't get twisted. He is he did high he did have high IQ. But you understand, you understand what Hanji was able to do though, bro. Bro, she was bro. She literally was able to like. How do I say this, bro? She could understand like Titans and shit, bro. You know what I mean? I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. She had like a weird, like a, like a weird, like a weird, like a weird obsession. Yeah, but like she, like she was able to understand like Titans and shit. She was a good, like, she was a good fighter too. This thing was a Jesus. They're, bro, they were both really smart. Like don't get twisted. But bro, she, bro, she figured out how to like. You know what I mean? The slash nip of the neck to kill titans and shit. Bro, come on now, bro. Come on now, bro. Meryl's quite crap on intelligence. Meryl was smarter. I want to lie. Hanji, though, was working from behind Lily Stone Age technology as it was to quickly learn and build shit that competed against niggas that tanks trained and all that shit. Damn, bro. Then again, I mean, yeah. Also, another thing you gotta look at. I mean, Meruem. Meruem. I mean, bro. Meruem did have pretty high, pretty high IQ, and he was pretty young too. Now I think about it. That nigga was literally young as shit. He had all all his IQ, intelligence, shit, and he wasn't that old. Bro, you see, bro, you see him and uh, and other little jet playing Shogi. Or, or chess the whole entire time, bro. They was playing that shit for a minute. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
Mm. All right, all right that's, that's, that's a fair statement. Now I think about it, that's a fair statement. All right, we'll go, we'll go Maryland, man. That's fair. Oh, shit. Eisen. It's Eisen. Eisen. Look, Johan, don't get it twisted. Johan, it, it, that nigga has IQ like shit, but. Hey, nah, bro. Not, 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 not compared to Eisen. Not compared to Eisen, bro. I'm sorry. Not compared to Eisen. Eisen has done. So, Eisen has done generations. I'm, I'm talking about. He has planned in ahead in terms of generation of shit. You said that? He's planned generations ahead. That nigga's a fucking genius. I, I look. I still have not finished Monster yet, so I don't know exactly the full on extent of, of Johan. I, and I will get back to I will get back to Monster at some point. But over Eisen though, bro. Nah, man. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. It's it's close though. I'm like it's pretty close in terms of IQ. But I think Eisen has just just a little bit more IQ than I, than Johan. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm not saying that because he's stronger, but I'm saying that because it's like, dog. Dog, this nigga planned so much. This nigga Eisen was planning his whole plan out for decades. I don't, I don't lie though. I don't. Or not. I, mean, I, I say decades. Not that. De not decades, bro. Longer than decades. Matter, matter of fact, bro. Centuries. Centuries is playing this shit out. Actually, now I think about it, bro. Big advantage that he was strong enough to be a captain that no one looked into because everyone respected him. That too. He faked. He faked his death. He did fake his death, actually. He faked his whole death, bro. Everyone thought he was dead, too. Johan, though, I ain't gonna lie to you, though. Johan. That, I lie, that, nigga, that nigga was smart since he was a kid. I ain't gonna lie to you. Kind, kind of like, I put like, like I said, he's kind of, kind of sort of in the, in the same boat like uh, how uh, Norman is. He, he's, been, he's been smart ever since he was a kid type of shit. But... Like I said, I feel like Eisen. Uh, yeah, I feel like Eisen could definitely outsmart Johan, without without using any power type shit. Uh, that's the way I see it. Very tough draw for Johan though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Very tough draw. You know what I mean? Johan could easily manipulate and control anybody. He could. He could. But you gotta understand. Anyone he does control or manipulate, they have to be like. They have to have an IQ that's like you know obviously less less than his type shit. You know what I mean? Like he's not doing that to someone with high IQ. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, I've been alive for so long, and that's not also another reason too though. But I got Eisen. This this is a very close one though, very very close in my opinion. Like, intelligence versus knowledge is, is is what this case is. Intelligence versus knowledge. Mayuri is a knowledge is knowledgeable because he's a scientist, but my nigga, his IQ is not is not beyond lights. I'm sorry, man. His IQ is not beyond lights. Uh, that's just the, that's just the way I see it, my boy. You know what I mean? That's just the way I see it. Simple as that. He might know more of him, but my nigga, the type of play, bro, come on, the type of plays this nigga light made, bro. Bro, this nigga made, bro, this nigga wrote in the death note to make him forget that he had a death note, just so he didn't get caught. Come on, bro. Like, no, no. It's light, bro. Come on now. It's light, bro. Like, come on now. That shit is that. That's some clever shit. He, he got. He's up there. Cars. Who? The fuck is this? Miles. Who the fuck is this nigga? I, I never watched Classroom Elite. Really. He'll talk. Uh, I don't know. Koji? 
I'm gonna lie, I haven't watched JoJo. I haven't watched like JoJo Part Two in a long ass time, so I kind of forgot how smart Cars really was. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Watch Classroom of the Elite is peak, bro. I've been, I've been told to watch that show for so long, and I just didn't give it a chance because it, it just looked something. It just didn't look like something I would like. I don't know. But on a shout, should I watch uh, Classroom of the Elite, guys? And I know Miles been telling me and begging me to watch it for the longest. I just didn't give it a chance. I was just like, eh, I don't know. Keep them that smart. Mm. Cars one of the smartest niggas in JoJo, really. What? I, what's what are some things that Cars has done, bro? Like I, I guess I, I forgot. I've not watched JoJo Part Two in a long ass time, bro. He <laughs> or asking you found this out? Oh no, definitely. <laughs> he that dumb just for unnecessary attention. A group of scientists was trying to make a genius kid, and he was the only one to make it out. Still, the smartest human on earth, basically. Ah, uh, okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Um. Dude, I bro, I forgot so much about cars like. I forgot so much about his, like, you know, his whole, you know what I mean? I haven't watched part two in ages, bro. You know, I, I did, I, I love part two a lot, too. But I just forgot so much. Cars is smart than Kia. He's not smart than Kia. Interesting. He just accumulates knowledge. So, okay, so he has a lot of knowledge, but he's just, but in terms of IQ intelligence type shit. I see. Alright. Um, I'm guessing those of y'all on YouTube might probably go with Kyo too, maybe. I guess y'all have seen Crash and Elite. I haven't watched it either, but I'm just going off of what everybody is saying, so I'm going to just do that. Kisuke and Madara. Madara got it, buddy. <laughs> Madara got this one, bro. I'm sorry. Again, it's, it's, another, it's another one of those cases. Knowledge versus, you know, IQ. Now, I'm not saying Kisuke doesn't have IQ, though. Kisuke does have IQ, but... Bro, Madara... Same case with Madara, bro. It's the same case with Madara. Uh, I right, dog. Y'all got Kisuke? Uhara Smart and Aizen? Bro. The whole plan is made by Black, so that's you not Madara. Not even that, though, bro. Like, dude. Didn't didn't Madara basically, like... Bro, didn't Madara basically... I mean, I, I wouldn't say kill him, killed himself, but basically... He planned, like, he planned, like, he, he planned his death just so he could get reanimated by Obito because he knew he, that he'd do all this shit. Just to come back during the war and like fuck shit up. I can literally admit Uhara is smarter than him. Fuck. Fuck. See, bro, situations, bro, situations like this. Well, wow, why is always these hard matchups, bro? Okay, so let's 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 put this into, into perspective, all right? Cause I, I know, cause I do know, yeah, I know Kisuke is is you know Kisuke is, is smart as shit. But let's say Kisuke was let's say Kisuke was in the Naruto universe, right? Let's say he was in the Naruto universe or some shit. Do you think he would have figured out Madara's plan if he knew if he knew if he knew who Madara was type shit? Let's say he didn't ha he had no knowledge about like you know what he was doing, you know, what he was doing. Like, you think he would have figured out his plan? Shit. Same thing he did with Aizen. 
He was a trapper. <laughs> God damn, bro. Takes a lot for a smart nigga to say someone smarter than him. That shit crazy. I think, bro, that's crazy, bro. That's not a, bro, this is such a crazy matchup, bro. Fuck. Alright, man. Alright. I guess you got QC. Fuck it. Damn, bro. Erwin and Shogo Makishima. I, didn't, I never watched Psycho Pass. Yeah, I know. Barely, like, yeah. Believe it or not. I never watched Psycho Pass. Um. But y'all elaborate to me though about Shogo though, how, how how smart he is he and like what 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 has he done like what is what are some IQ plays he's made in, in his own show. They have guns that read tell you like uh, how likely you're gonna be, how likely you're going to commit a crime. Okay, he's someone that has become someone that the guns essentially can't read. And he uses that to his advantage to commit murders. And crime. Oh shit. Please can I do that? You should have. Really? That felt kinda fire. What the fuck? All I can really say all I can really say for Irwin in terms of IQ. I mean he was a good I mean he was a good leader. A great leader, actually. That's that's what that's one of his like that's what that's one of his feats about his IQ that he was a really good leader. But, I mean, like I said, compared to Shogo, though, uh, he was also smart to outsmart the whole Japanese police department in, that, in the system that runs the guns. He was, he was also able to commit crimes. He could use murders with zero trace. Oh, what, was, what was my bone to pick with, with, with uh, Boruto, bro? Oh, yeah. How, how'd you like how'd you like the, the fight? You know, the the Boruto and, uh, what's his face? And Kawaki fight. Mm? How'd you like it, man? How'd you like to reuse animation and shit? Was it fire? Hmm? Was it fire? <laughs> Yumiko, jo wait. Wait, wait, where am I she from? Yumiko, jo Yumiko Jabami? Where am I she from? Oh, the gambling, an the gambling anime. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't watch that either. There's a lot of shows I have. There's a lot of anime I have not watched. I'm not gonna lie to you, but yeah, y'all y'all can explain to me what she what she's done though. But Shikamaru though, nigga, like bro, come on now, bro. Literally one of one of the smartest niggas in the show, bro. Like literally, like up there type like type shit. Like bro, this nigga, bro, this nigga Shikamaru, bro. She's demonic. She's smart as fuck. How so? She's a smart psychopath. She's actually not Shikamaru. Bro, this nigga Shikamaru, bro. Again, another per another character who, who's been smart since they were since they were legit, like since they were like 12, 13 years old type shit, bro. See, this is this is this is the thing, bro. These niggas, they they have they. Matter of fact, not even that. They literally said, bro, they literally said in the show that he was a genius. They literally said Shikamaru was a genius, bro. Literally said it. Like, yeah, this nigga is a whole genius, bro. You know what I mean? She purposely loses because she's a gambling addict and loves high stakes. And she runs niggas for the money and lives. And or lives. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of evil. I can lie to you. That's pretty evil. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I got. I kind of want to see that happen. What the fuck? Damn, I gotta watch that. No, but seriously, though, Shikamaru though, bro, come on now. This nigga. Matter of fact, not even that, bro. This bro, he became the first tuning of his whole of his whole generation. He was the first tuning in his whole generation, bro. Let that shit sink in. Nah, bro. Shikamaru definitely. He definitely got it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna talk about. I ain't gonna talk about. Like, discuss the you know the shogi that he's played and 
the fights he's had. This, this nigga was literally, he literally got, he done. He caught, he done in the fucking trap and fucked him up and shit. Yeah, bro. Uh, Shikamaru is that guy. He's that guy. He's definitely that guy. Koro Sensei and Minato. Oh, this is getting more and more difficult as it progresses. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, fuck. Okay, let, let me let, let me break it down. Okay, Koro Sensei basically has knowledge about literally every, like literally almost everything, like tight shit. And on top of that, he's literally. He's literally like, avoided assassination attempts several fucking times. Countless times, actually. He's a, he's avoided being assassinated at several different times. So, I mean, shit. That nigga has, like, you know, yeah, he knows his shit, for real. Um, and on top of that, he, on top of that he teach, I mean, he's teaching a whole class of how... Actually, matter of fact... Coral, bro, Coral is so smart that he literally, he, bro, he literally taught a whole class how to kill him, and they all basically failed. <laughs> he taught them literally everything they need to know in order to kill him, and they still failed. Let that sink in. That nigga is a genius. That nigga is pretty smart. Now I think about it. He told them all. He told them all of his, like his weaknesses and shit. All that. I mean, he's just a bad teacher. You can say that. But. I mean, is, is he a bad teacher? If he, I mean, if shit like that still doesn't work, though. Is he really just a bad teacher, though? You know what I mean? I mean, shit. Imagine teaching everyone how to kill you. And all your weaknesses. And they still can't kill you. Hey man, I don't know. Minato, uh, Minato is pretty smart too. Obviously, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, uh, he didn't. Uh, you know, like I said, he, he was he was he was pretty smart as a, at a young age as well. Um, it's hard to say. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, what I mean, can y'all what, what can y'all say about Minato for real? I mean, can y'all really like you know? I mean, what can I really say about him for real? I mean, he was smart. I mean, but I, I feel like he was also just a, a really skilled ninja. So that, that's that's another thing. You're just a really skilled ninja or some shit. He died to the nine tails when he didn't need to. That is another thing too. You really didn't need to. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I feel like Coral might be. I feel like Coral might be smarter now. I feel like I'm, I'm edging a little bit more to Coral. To Coral. Didn't Coral kill the whole planet? Like you said, he will. No, he said that if if basically he's gonna give like. How many? How how long? I think he gave, he gave like his students like a. I think he gave his students like what? How long? How long did they have to kill him? Like a, was it a year or some shit? I forgot how how long it was. But basically, he gave him like a time period. He's like, look, I'm gonna teach y'all how to kill me. All right, y'all have a y'all a whole year. Otherwise, I blow up your whole fucking planet. All right, I'm gonna give y'all a full on year or some shit. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach y'all all the all the techniques, all the types of ways to kill people. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all all the strats. I'm gonna teach y'all all my weaknesses, all that shit. I'm gonna see y'all can actually try to kill me. And the nigga still couldn't do it, bro. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he destroyed half the earth in the yeah, yeah. That's 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 another thing too. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Coral does have that IQ. I ain't gonna lie though. I think he just had that IQ like that. Arvin and Toby Rama. 
not for the cap. Not for the cap. I might give those to RME, maybe. I ain't gonna lie to you. I might give those to RME, nothing shit. I ain't gonna roll cap. That nigga RME has definitely. Has definitely cracked some codes. I ain't gonna lie, he's cracked some codes, especially with the with the shit going on in ALT right now. He's definitely cracked some codes, bro. I ain't gonna say he. I mean, I wouldn't say he figured out all. He didn't really figured out all of Aaron's plan and shit, but I mean, he definitely figured out you know some leads here and there and shit. So I don't know, man. Told you I'm gonna race his ass. Okay, look, look, look. I kind of, I, I, I kind of wanted to touch up on this a little bit. Look, yeah, look, okay, look, Toby, look, Toby Rama is racist against Uchiha's, but in his defense, in his defense, all right, they were at war with them, with them niggas, all right, they were at war with them niggas, so he had, he kind of had a reason to be, all right, if you want, if you want, if y'all want to really look at a, at a racist in the, in the, in the, in the ninja world, I want y'all to look at Donzo, Donzo was far beyond more racist than Toby Rama. Definitely, definitely, I'm telling you straight up, this motherfucker set Itachi up, he set up Itachi to kill his whole fucking clan, right, and then what does this nigga do, he takes all of the dead, all those dead Uchiha's eyes, and has them all on their fucking, on his fucking arm, you know what I mean, and uses their fucking abilities and shit, type shit, you know what I mean, not really, but he won. So you only want the Chia's dead. He put him in camps and was playing on gassing them. <laughs> okay, not really, but he wanted them killed. <laughs> bro, nah, bro. Donzo was was definitely more racist than Toby Rama was, bro. How the fuck you gonna kill, bro? He had every eye and died to an emo with a sword. I gonna lie, I mean he did he did almost kill Sasuke. He did almost kill Sasuke. If it wasn't for uh, Obito. He, Sasuke would be dead like shit. Sasuke would definitely have been dead. I'm not gonna lie to you. But hey. Anyways. Uh, I feel like Armin has more IQ though. Uh, before he did. Did y'all agree? Y'all Would y'all say Armin has more IQ than Toby Roma does? And if not, I'll explain why. Anywho, um... No, 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 no negations. All right, I got army on that one. Doctor Genius and L, or Doctor Genius. What anime is he from? He's from One Punch. Uh, I see. So what's what's his feat? Like what 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 uh, what is he what has he done in terms of like IQ plays type shit? Cause I mean, I, you already know who, who I want to choose here, but I want to at least hear, you know, what a, a different side before I make my decision. So, yeah. I don't lie to you, bro. I'm giving it to L, bro. I'm sorry. This nigga basically figured out with literally no leads at all. I don't lie to you. I feel like okay, look. I feel like if L and Light didn't live in the same like country, I, I'm pretty sure Light would have never gotten caught. Let, let's 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 keep it 100 percent here. He would never gotten caught. You know what I mean? But still though, you gotta re you gotta realize. Didn't he die? Is that was that at the house of evolution? He making monsters and shit. Hmm. Yeah, L like bro, this nigga literally figured out I mean he I mean he didn't realize it until his time of death. But he he basically just kind of you know, he had it, like, just running in his brain. Yeah. You're Kira. Mm, I mean, yeah, yeah, you're Kira. This nigga just had... Do you know how smart you have to be to fi to figure that shit out? With no leads? He didn't even know the death book, the death note was a thing, bro. He just knew that L that Knight was the nigga who was just over here killing people, bro. He didn't know that shit. Hey, man. He you know, hey man, I gotta give it to L. I'm sorry, I think L is genius. 
Vegapunk, and Blackbeard? Blackbeard? Why is Blackbeard on here? Is he I IQ? I mean... IQ? I mean, I, I don't know why we... Why well, I even call it IQ, for real? I mean... If we're being, I mean, we're being 100%. Blackbeard Dash just got lucky. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I feel like he just dead ass got lucky. I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot, a lot of the shit that happened, it, like, like a lot of shit just kind of played out in his favor. It all just really played out in his favor type shit. I mean, he beat Ace, all right, and because and because he beat Ace, Ace got basically you know he was, you know, got locked up. You know, got captured by the fucking, you know, government and shit. And that basically triggered the whole Paramount War, which Blackbeard showed up, uh, you know, and Whitebeard basically pulled up. He died, he died over there, and then he basically took his fucking, you know, he took his depot for me and shit. It was like, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like things just kind of like, just kind of, I don't know. Things just kind of went his way. I, 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 don't, I don't think he's actually like, they say he's top three smartest niggas in One Piece. Really? Top three smartest niggas in One Piece? Okay, we're, we're talking about smart niggas in we're probably we're talking about smart niggas in One Piece. Shanks definitely has to be up there in terms of like, you know, IQ. Shanks for sure has to be up there in terms of IQ for sure. But yeah, bro. I feel like Yeah. But Shanks is Shanks is definitely smart as shit. Vega Punk, uh, what what did she do again? I forgot what she did, bro. Some like some of these characters I haven't seen in I haven't seen since like what uh, what's the last arc she was in again? The fucking um Punk Hazard. I I, I, I haven't yeah I don't you know what I mean. Some of these characters I haven't seen in a while, bro. So her inventions were 400 years ahead of society. God, okay. She got that shit. <laughs> she got that shit. All right. Oh uh, no, she was here. Lush and Gojo. See, this is gonna be a tough one. All right. Cause I, cause look, Lush. I know Lush is a smart nigga. Don't get it twisted. Gojo smart. Nigga, what? <laughs> Dude, like, bro, have you watched Jujutsu Kaisen? Gojo, bro, Gojo's a fucking smart as shit, bro. Ain't no way you just asked that question. Now, look, the deal with Lush, though, is... I, I haven't, look, I know Lush is smart as shit, but I haven't seen the entirety of, um... of Code Geass yet, so I can't really make my full-on judgment. Uh... Gojo ain't smarter than this verse, though. Mm. You got a point there. I mean, may, then again, I mean, it would make sense that Luge technically is, does have more IQ, though. I mean, it is, the, but then again, in his defense, I mean, a lot of, a lot of his strats have to do with his power, though. So. But, but then again, who's doesn't, though? No. Who's doesn't, though? You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, Luge, I, I would say he's the smarter one in this case. Who the fuck is this? Karisu? Kari yeah, I don't know. I don't lie to you. I feel like... What was his... Oh my god, what was the, what was the other dude's name again? I forgot. Oh, he's in a spada. Okay, I see. I see. Um, dude. What was it? I was gonna say like, I mean, I don't mean she is. I mean, yeah, she is. She is. A, I mean, she is pretty smart. Don't get twisted. I mean, come on, she helped create a fucking time machine. But I feel like. Bro, what, what was the other dude's name, bro? 
I, I low key feel like he has. I feel like he has more IQ than her on some shit. Actually, he does. Yeah, he, he, I mean, shit. He do. I mean, he, he do. Yeah, see, Chris in side B. Oh, oh yeah. There's a side. B. I didn't. Even, I didn't watch side B. Hold on. Actually, I'm not. All right. Well, before I before I make my choice though, what is what exactly has Sai uh, Seattle? What what has he done? Why what, what what's what's so smart about him? Just pick the bitch. The bitch is crazy. All right, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I am. Sanku and Orochimaru. Shit. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Um I'm gonna have to go Senku here. I I might have to go Senku, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I might I may have to go Senku. Only because Bro This nigga literally rebuilt society. Like he really looked like he he built a whole new like you know what I mean from scratch. He built different generate like you know what I mean from scratch type shit. That nigga's a fucking genius. He knows how to literally make he knows how to literally make everything type shit. You know what I mean? The world the world ends. Everything everyone turns to stone and. Yeah, does Roshimaru have a gender? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Ask Ask Kishimoto. <laughs> but I got I got Senku on this one though, bro. Only because Roshimaru created life. He did. He did, but do you understand, bro? I gonna lie, you though. Now I think about it, there are a lot of things in like in the Doctor Stone universe that were just kind of like convenient, like just way too convenient to just be there or some shit like that. And somehow they just knew how to find shit, but I, I don't know. Like some second brought niggas back to life, though. He did. And he figured out how to, yeah, he yeah he did figure out how to fucking, you know, turn niggas out, you know, to, you know, to de-stone niggas and shit. So that's interesting, too. Uh, bro, wait. Bro. <laughs> Dog, this nigga, this nigga jumped from different age, from, from Stone Age, to fucking Ice Age, to fucking Machine Age, bro. Iron Age, bro, nah, 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 nah. Nah, Senku's a genius, nah, Senku's a genius, I'm sorry. Close, but oh fuck! Not gonna lie, to you. This would be the craziest battle IQ ever. This would be the craziest battle IQ ever. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. To be honest with you, whoever 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 wins this fight, they basically have to. Fuck, bro. They have to know the other person's power. This one has millions of videos on YouTube about it. I had to watch that when I get a chance. Basically, whoever wins this shit, they have to know about the other power. The other one's power first. That's that's the only that's the only reason how that's the only way. That's the only way, bro. Let's say they both just you know. Let's say they both just met each other or some shit like that. They have no idea about anything they've done. Nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Oh, uh, oh no, bro. Oh my God. Light would have. I mean, obviously, yeah. Light would have to know Lucius' name in order to be able to kill him. But also, he would need a he need a reason to kill him. Like, you know, first hand. Basically. Yeah. Oh no, bro. They both manipulators. I know. What's good? What's going on, a little more? How you doing, bro? Lucius' biggest W is that no one really knows his real name. 
They know him as Luce Lump Rouge, not Luce Rupert. Oh, they don't know. Oh shit! And you're you're right about that. Okay, so basically this this is how this is how this could work. All right. If Light knew about Lucius' power, all he had to do is wear sunglasses or some shit like that, and he's good. As far as I know, to my knowledge, because I haven't watched the entirety of, you know, you know what I mean? To my knowledge. If Lucius knew about Light's power, basically, also, he, he just had to not, you know, not give his name. Or basically, you know, he would have to just you know, make sure he doesn't have his name. Although... If Light was really, was really was really willing to, and you know, got the Shinigami eyes, then he could actually see his name and shit. So that's another thing. Damn, bro. On what point in the story Light is against Lelouch? That is another thing too. Damn, bro. Basically, whoever, bro, whoever wins, whoever wins this fight, they have to basically. They have, to, they, have to know, they have to have one up on the other person, bro. They have to, or basically, they have, they have to know about the person's power first for the other person. That's the only way they win. That's the only way. It basically, it'd be like a stalemate at, at that point. It'd basically be like a stalemate. Like I said, he never do that. That's, that's the thing. Yeah, that's true. That's out of his character, too. I ain't gonna lie to you. If, if Light were to do that, though... I mean, I, I, he definitely wouldn't have died in, in Death Note. What's... He got too cocky, bro. He thought he was him. Just just for a fucking... How, how, how old was Nier, bro? Like, like, like 14 years old? For a fucking 14 year old to figure out his whole plan? Shit was crazy. Shit was, uh, shit was crazy, bro. See, but here's, here's the thing about Lelouch, though, compared to Light. Even if, even like Light, let's say Light still did have Lelouch's name, right? But Lelouch knew about Light's plan and the whole Death Note and shit. Lelouch could still make other, like, other people, like, around him, you know, like, basically, you know what I mean? He can get niggas to kill, you know, Lighthouse and shit. He could be like... Look, if I die, type shit, kill Light Alchemy, type shit. You know what I mean? He also has C2. What is... C2. Ain't that, ain't that a... Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Who we know can't die since she got shot in the head. Yeah. Right. Oh, what's good? What's going on? How you doing, bro? What's <laughs> good, bro? Evolve people phobic. That's good, bro. You're right. So, I'm pretty sure in this case, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it does matter who has more information about the other person. But Lelouch's power, the thing about his power is that, I mean, it, it's it's expansive and shit. Like, you know, you know, it, it, it's expansive type shit. You know, he... Basically, he can get someone to do some shit until, until the conditions are met type shit. Even if he does die, those conditions can still work. So. so, in this case, even though I haven't really finished uh, Kogias yet, I feel like Lucius' power is more effective and more efficient than Light's is. Alright, and on top of that, like I said, Light's power doesn't work unless he knows... You know, his actual name, so. I got Lelouch in this one. Um, you know, that, that's basically what I said. Is there another Kogi I would say we lose to light, but he gets a lot smarter. Or at least showcases a lot more. Especially that mess big nigga he faces. Mm, bet. Bet, 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 bet. But I got Lelouch though on, on that one. Kiyotaka or Shikamaru, guys? Shikamaru? I got Shikamaru. He's on some shit. I got Shikamaru. He's on some shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Kiyotaka, easy. 
Wait, Ben, you watched class classroom really? You think Kiyodaka has more IQ than Shikamaru does? Both seasons. Wait, more. Why would you say Kiyotaka is has more IQ than Shikamaru? I was just tells you we got the shadow powers. Oh, that's true. That's true too. Let's 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 put power, let's put powers to the uh, to the side. But let's let's say, unless Kiyotaka has a power too of his own, I don't think he has any powers, does he? But if we're putting a power, if we're putting like powers to the side here, like you know who would have to jump on who, like who would outsmart who type shit. I said that because he was literally manufacturing to be smart and be on top of everyone. Hmm. Interesting. I need to do more research on these characters. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, special ability. Okay, perfect. So that nigga's a manipulator of type, awesome type of shit. Okay. I see. So, okay. Alright, uh, what's going on, Snitch? How you doing, bro? Um... Okay. Um, so, from what I read... So, Kiyotaka is... A good manipulator type of shit. And he's, and he's intentionally, he intentionally scores low in order to like, or to fool his like, you know, to fool like his classmates and shit. Interesting. Yeah, a chess match. Exactly. It's a, it's just like this, it's like the same like the last matchup between like Light and and Luce, bro. It's a chess match, bro. Um. Hand in hand combat, Kiyotaka win, my opinion too. Shikamaru don't really even do like taijutsu like that anyway, so you probably got that. Yeah, I, I think maybe Kiyotaka might have it, bro. I don't know. What y'all think? I think y'all think Kiyotaka might have it. Only reason why I say that is because, bro, the nigga could like literally like. He can like. I, I, I know I gotta watch the anime, bro. I don't know. I I only say that because he can make others believe that he's not he's not smart enough type of shit. Like he he could like he could like literally fake his intelligence type of shit. I don't know, bro. Like shit like that is like I don't know. It's kind of difficult to do shit like that. I don't know. Kitaka probably wins because he try hard and Shikamaru would be lazy and hand Shikamaru is on his ass. And power, eh, you know, if powers were allowed, Shikamaru would just shop that shit that nigga and make some like off himself type shit. But after all this decision making, I'm going to I'm going Kiyotaka. All right, um, very tough decision. But hey, Norman and Crease and Carisi. Uh, so basically, I'm, I'm split between the decision, between the decision of, between the decision of like higher IQ versus like someone who basically built a whole time machine type shit. I don't know what the other one is though. The other one's she's from, she's from Steins Gate. Pack watch, fuck that bitch. Nigga, ban. Norman is smart as fuck, bro. What you talking about, bro? This nigga was like 12 years old, outsmarting full grown adults. Like it was nothing. Like, that nigga's a genius. 
talk about that, bro. We don't we, like I said, we don't even know the extent of, the extent of his like his uh his intelligence, bro. We don't know how smart this nigga would have been if you were older. That's the thing. Okay, I have to look at what they've done to really choose this one. This, Cause this the the more the higher it goes, it's the it's the, it's the harder it gets. Pause. But it's like okay. So like I said, obviously they're different. They're both different ages, right? All right. Normally was twelve years old. Kurisu, she was like what eighteen, eighteen years old or some shit. Okay. Now Kurisu, all right. She helped build a time machine. All right, and basically, you know, she you know basically knew how to how to actually get it working and shit. Um. Norman, on the other hand, he basically basically discovered the whole the truth about you no know, the whole orphanage and shit, and realizing that it's actually a farm for kids and shit like that, and you know, there's a whole outside world beyond the walls, and you know. Basically, the kids are like livestock getting raised, get fed by the, you know. I mean, he he basically figured all that shit out on on his own, pretty much, which is pretty crazy. You know what I mean? And then he figured out how to get at least half, at least half of those kids to escape, you know, that whole entire place. Especially knowing that the how how big the walls are and shit. He figured out a way to actually, you know, climb over those walls and shit, so. So, I don't... At 12 years old, mind you. At 12 years old. That, that's another thing, too. This is a child we're talking about. She basically had outsmarted her father's whole sense of scientific team and proved many of his theories wrong, which is what led to the, what happens to her in, in the loops. Oh, she was also child prodigy. She isn't just smart enough to create her, a time machine. She's also a multi-time award winner with the uh, theories in neuroscience, the study of the brain, and physics, all before the age of eighteen. Mm. Fuck. This is a hard one, bro. But I guess objectively, I guess you could say that Karisu is is, is smarter than Norman. Object objectively, I, I guess you could say. But also, but, I'm, but this, this is like another way I'm, I'm trying to like I'm trying to figure this out in a different way though, because. If you put either of them into like each other's like universe, they're not gonna be able to you know. I don't think they'll be able to actually do shit like that. Like put Karisu into like Norma's universe, I don't, I, I can't see her like being able to like you know figure all that shit out and like basically you know getting everybody to escape and shit. I, I can't see her being able being able to do that. But Norman, I can't see him building a time, you know, being able to build a time machine either, though. So that's that's another thing, bro. Escaping monsters with, a, with friends are making are making some of a time machine. I will say it does take more intelligence to build a time machine than it does to. Fuck yeah, it's close, but I gotta go. I gotta go Kirisu. I mean. It does take a lot more intelligence to build a time machine, man. Let's, let's be honest here. Very close, though, bro. But, damn. This one, like, it, it's, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Bro, my head is hurting. Okay. Um, Vegapunk and L. We're, we're all signing with L here. All right. Everyone was all signing with L here. First of all, everybody just keep the fastest wins. Bro, I, I think El Kadaz solved a Rubik's Cube in like less than 10 seconds. I got a lot of you. 
Uh, I dare say he can solve, he can solve one in less than ten seconds. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> L, yeah, I got L, bro. I, I got L. I'm gonna close finish one piece though. I lock it, bro. Shogo sleeping army, I don't lie. Let's see, that's another nigga I gotta do a little bit of research on. I mean, I know you already told me about what you know what he's done and shit, but actually, you know what? I don't there. I gotta look at that up. Look that up. I have an IQ that crazy is the same. We'll go Shogo though. We'll go Shogo. Senku and Meruem. Oh God. If given the the correct resources, I think Senku could figure out a way to like. This, this might sound a little bit far fetched, but I feel like given the right resources. I feel like he, he could like devise a plan to figure out how to stop like to stop Meruem. Not like on some, you know, like okay, science shit, but like if he like if he knew some people or whatever, like if he knew that like, the correct people or some shit like that, I feel like he could devise like he do like he'd be able to like devise a plan to like actually like, you know. You know what I mean? Stop. Okay, maybe not okay, maybe not stop. Okay, I feel like he could outsmart Meruem. I feel like Senku could have cut out smart Meryl. When Meryl was playing against that one girl, that one little girl, I forgot her name. Did he ever like beat her in like that in Shogi or that chess game, whatever? He beat her. They were like, wait, where? Did I, where it became better. Uh, it was one on. It was one on Oxen though. That's how you do it, bro. Came better in her. Hmm. And keep in mind, he was only like about a week old too, huh? He was only like about a, a week old and shit. We understand though, bro. Senku literally created a whole, a whole. Like, you know what I mean? He rebuilt, he rebuilt society type shit. He made a moving device out of nothing. Dog, ha, he, bro, he built, look at here. Senku literally built, like, electronic shit. Like, 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 a, like, iPhone, all that shit. He built, bro, he created iPhones, literally, out of straight up like in the in the stone age essentially how the fuck do you do that you know what i mean he this nigga's over here making iphones he was over here making fucking you know like just a whole bunch of different inventions and shit like that out of straight up you know Materials and all that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I don't, I don't think Marrows are building the whole society like that from scratch. I don't know, bro. That it takes a gene, like you know, Marion was a genius. Don't get twisted, but in terms of like, you know what I mean? Senku's a nah, bro. I, I think Senku might just have a little bit more of like an edge in terms of like you know intelligence. I don't know, bro. It takes a lot to do some shit like that. Mm. I, I, okay, I got eyes on this one. I got eyes on this one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I got eyes on it. I mean, even, and I'm not even talking about just an IQ, but like, you know, fight type shit. Like, I, I got eyes on still, bro. <laughs> Aizen is probably gonna one shot Koro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Probably one shotting Koro or some shit. 
But in terms of IQ, yeah, I Aizen is definitely smarter. Definitely smarter. Koro is smarter in terms of like, is smart in terms of like an assassin type shit. I mean, like he's a he's a good assassin and he's good at like you know, he's knowledgeable and shit, but not as intelligent as as Aizen is, bro. Not as intelligent. We mean what, Ban? Look at both the IQs. Dude, do you I don't think they just Google me on IQ like I don't think you can find an IQ like hold on a second, bro. Eisen's two hundred plus. The other feat is his ability to retain and understand almost every almost anything from theories of antimatter to poisons. Thing his mindset on, he's capable of knowing, he's understanding his mental composition, capable of adjusting however he sees fit. He's memorized every textbook in Japan for the sake of his teaching his students. He's also able to distinguish poisons by taste. His most incredible feat is multitask multitasking. Brush yourself as watching TV, do your homework, multitasking for some days for more credible, credit super speed. He's able to create after images for each two students. Change usual student of different subjects. His first time. Hmm. See, now that makes things a little bit more interesting. I forgot that he was able to do shit like that. Although, his brain definitely does work faster. I'll deny that. His brain does work faster because he is faster. And it's all that he is an alien as well. So that's another thing. But I just want to outsmart him. See, that's that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like I know he would outsmart him. Oh, yeah, that's that's the part. That's the point. But it's it's like I, fuck this shit. Fuck it, bro. Get this out the fucking way. Key skin runner. All right. Easy. Easy. L. L. I feel like L will be able to figure out that Shogo is like, you know, doing all those murders. I feel like he'd be able to figure it out. Put put them in the, put them in the same city. He he be able, he be able to figure it out. Come on now, bro. Come on now, bro. You be able to do anything about it? That's the thing. He wouldn't be able to do anything about it, but he'd figure it out. So maybe we have to figure out how the whole policing system works. He's able to use it to his advantage. Dog. His goal is to make the police crime first time levels go up. So they get executed. Interesting shit. But then again, L did figure out, I guess towards the end that light was light was Kira. But Especially, even though he had like literally no leads at, at the beginning, so that, that is another thing. Yeah, he has he has smart him, but he couldn't do anything about it. This is hunch. Shit. So if it were L versus Shogo, I mean L would definitely figure out that Shogo was the one who you know was doing the murders, but he would never be able to like, you know. Prove it to other people that he was the one doing the murders and shit, based off of like, based off the system and shit. So technically, that means Shogo White would have the upper hands. If it were like a cop and like a cop and robber type of thing, Shogo would not would never get caught. <sighs> All right, I got Shogo on this one. The Lelouch, it's, yeah, come on now, Lelouch, it's not even close, 
<laughs> illusion is not even close. It is not even, it is not even close. Aizen, yeah. Yep, yeah, Aizen. Miles, don't cap me, buddy. Do not cap me about this. Alright? Lelouch, Lelouch has more IQ than... Uh, even if... Alright? He literally has the fucking eye. Okay? He has the code Gios. Or he has the Gios. He can literally get that nigga to do whatever the fuck he wants. And literally get him to kill himself. Alright? Either way, he, 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 he has the upper hand. Simple as that. Simple as that. But yeah, I haven't got these ones. All you scientists versus scientists, bro. But I, I but Kisuke got it. Kisuke got it. But then again, fuck. Damn, bro. That's another thing. They're both scientists, so they both know a lot of shit. Here, here's the, here's the best question. Here's the best way to put this question. Y'all think could it, would Kisuke be able to build a whole new like a whole new society if you are you know let's say like the whole world basically went to like a like some post apocalyptic shit? Would he be would he be able to, would he be able to like re, like rebuild everything from like from scratch type shit? I mean, he could. I mean, he could. Maybe he could be able to. Be able to. He's counting for thousands of years in his head. Oh my god, I forgot about that too, bro. While he... Make contingency for, a contingency for anyone, even without his powers. <laughs> oh, dog. Dog. <laughs> Kisuke would do everything Senku could do. And Kisuke, Kisuke Loki does have more knowledge about. He he I go like he does probably have more knowledge about shit than Senku does. Now I think about it. Even beyond outside, of, even beyond like, cause bro, Kisuke has knowledge about like just not just the human world, but like others, like other worlds beside, like beyond that shit. Way beyond that. He's not bringing anything back. Stop it. He's good. Kid. Uh, -uh. Now I think about it, he probably could. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go Kiske. Okay. Very close though. Loose we should though. Hey man. Like I said, Loose will be able to figure out. I feel like he'd be able to figure out that it's him doing it, and then... Matter of fact, not even that, bro. Dog. This nigga, Lush could probably do some shit if he, if he like, like I say, he meets eye to eye with, like, Shogo. See, this is another thing, bro. If... Basically, this is another, another situation where whoever has the upper hand first wins type shit. You know what I mean? Because, look, if Shogo knows, knows about Lush's power, he gonna just do some shit to make sure that, you know what I mean? He'll just do some shit to make sure, you know, that he, obviously, you know, that Lush gets silenced type of shit. If Lush has the upper hand and knows about, you know, what Shogun doing or some shit and he figures it out, bro, he can literally walk up to the niggas, or he can, he, he can just find the nigga, walk up to him, look him in the eye, be like, I want you to, I want you to expose yourself to the police that you're the one doing those murders and shit. And then, like, boom. You know what I mean? Like, boom. Yeah, I lose on this one though. And y'all did say Kiske is, is, yeah, Eisen did say that, according to y'all, that he did that Kiske is smarter than him apparently. So, I mean, y'all did say that, right? Y'all did say that, right? See, y'all didn't say that ahead of time. It'd be a harder figure. It'd be a harder feat. But yeah. Alright, well. 
before we, before we choose this one, before we do choose this one, Kisuke wins. Now hold on here. All right, hold on here. Hold on here. Let's not let's not, let's not jump to the conclusions. Like I said, you know how the loose is. You know what I mean. You know how the loose is. It all it takes is one look in the eyes, and boom. If Kisuke has no knowledge about Lelouch's power, Kisuke's done. Simple as that. No knowledge about his power, he's done. That shit. Now, alternatively, it's the same thing with Kisuke. If Kisuke knows about... He, Kisuke knows about Lelouch's power, Lelouch is, is, is a goner. He's a fucking goner. You know what I mean? He's an insane. He's a quick observer. He created the whole Yoku. That he did. A quick, a quick observer. <sighs> that that keeps gay. Yeah, see, I mean, yeah, I mean, that is that is. He hit him with the gee guy and be like, "Your power won't look on me." <laughs> oh, fuck. He can leave that smart than a god. Like I said, true. Let's say no powers. They're both two. Let's say they're both humans, no powers. Okay, if they're both humans with no powers, then Kisuke is like, gonna outsmart him for sure. As far to my knowledge, because like I said, I haven't watched the entirety of Kogias yet, so I can't really make my argument completely yet. You know what I mean? No powers, Kisuke wins. With powers, uh, really, it depends on who gets to jump on who first. That's that's it. That's really just it, bro. But then again. Wait a minute, wait. Lu wait, Luz wouldn't even be able to see him, though. Now I think about it. He wouldn't even be able to see him because he he's a, a soul reaper. Unless he's, in, unless he's in a gi guy. So that's another thing. Unless, this, unless the gi somehow makes him see soul reapers. Which is, that's not how that works, so. Like, you can't compare with power. Yeah, exactly. You can't compare with IQ and shit. I see. Well, in that case, this has the same feats that I don't think Kisuke can pull off. But also, that's, yeah, that's true. But vice versa as well, too. It's vice versa. Alright. Same loop later on the level of Eisen. Yeah. From what I've seen so far, that is, that is definitely true. From what I've seen so far, that is definitely true. Alright then. We have a winner, everybody. We have a winner. Kisuke has the highest IQ. Oh, I wouldn't say in anime, but from from this set of, this set of characters, he has the highest IQ. All right, that's what that's what we're that's what we're looking at right here. All right, this is a this is a not gonna lie, this is a very tough one. I'm not gonna lie, this is very tough. Those are all those are all that are on YouTube. I'm gonna lie, you the editing about the, for this is about to be crazy so. Tell me what y'all think, alright? Do y'all think Kisuke was the smartest one out of everyone here? Or do you think I might, I might have fucked up in some cases? Honestly, I mean, I, I, I might have, alright? Because there, there, there are some cases where there are some characters that, you know, may have had, you know, some characters that may have been a little bit of a, you know, 
Yeah, you know, but because I mean, because I didn't know so much about them, or I forgot about some of their feats. But you know, go ahead, tell me what y'all think. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. All right, like, subscribe, all that. And uh, I'll see y'all next one. Smart anime character by IQ. Earning 150 IQ. Sexy commander. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's the the gambling bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Nigga, that's Saber. The fuck? <laughs> that is Saber. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> the genius scientist who graduated from university at the age of 17. Didn't watch the Lelouch. 213. Really? So wait, who the wait, who the fuck did Shikamaru lose to? Wait, did Shikamaru lose to that one that one nigga? Shikamaru not smarter than Lelouch, not even close. That's crazy. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Okay. You see? This is why I knew I should have trusted my gut feeling. But then again, I don't think I, I don't think I can say Norman is smarter than smarter than Lelouch is crazy. I think a lot of you. But two forty three IQ though. I feel like this could be a stretch. I don't know. I feel like that might have been like a stretch. I don't know about two forty three. Interesting. Two fifty seven. Really? Extreme insight to study emotions, people have found them. That was crazy though, we still haven't seen Keys Gaze yet. We still haven't seen Keys Gay yet. We still haven't even seen Kisuke yet. That's crazy. If he's if he's on here, we haven't seen Aya. We haven't even seen Aya. They're not on this list. Kisuke and Aya are on this list. Impossible. Impossible. So what the fuck is rest on this? Oh, bro. See, why you, why, bro, why you got fucking sisters on some bullshit, bro? You always on some fucking lying bullshit, bro. I fucking knew you liar. You fucking liar. I fucking knew it. I knew it. You damn liar. I should have, ooh, I knew it. I knew it. 260, good lord. Good lord. He lost his walk <laughs> That is crazy. So if Kisuke is here, that means all oh, this means that Aizen has to be here too, I'm guessing. Alright, let's see. It.
295. What the fuck? Appreciate the follow, yo. What the fuck? You know what, bro? I mean, I'm not... You know what, bro? It's uh, 210 in the official guides. Oh, this, is, this video is just over here capping and shit. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Senku with a 350 total IQ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Where y'all getting these numbers from, bro? <laughs> Where are they getting these numbers from, bro? Where are they, how are they calculating this? So it's just estimated. Nigga, did, yeah, like, where the fuck did you estimate? Where, where are you getting this estimation from? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, look, don't get twisted, though. Senku is smart. But, nigga, 350? Like, what? Holy shit. 366. Alright, bro. Alright, man. Alright, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. They got 400. <laughs> 400. You know what 400 IQ is? You know, the average IQ is 100. It's like the average ba base IQ we had is like a hundred. This thing is like basically four times so four times smarter than the average. I mean, it makes sense, but like Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, man, four hundred. <laughs> Nigga, what? No, no, bro. You, you know, <laughs> after this video, I'm about to go to their comments and I'm about to look at this because this, this, you're telling me this nigga is, nah, bro, nah, bro. Vega Punk. Oh, wait, why is wait why is Caesar? Here? Why is Caesar here? I mean, or is Caesar Vega? What? Did, did they fuck up here or am I tripping? Scientists whose ventures are at least 500 years ahead of current technology. 510 IQ is insane, bro. How the f- No, 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 bro. Hold up, bro. He didn't, he didn't make almost everything in one piece. They were guessing. Okay, but, okay, let me get this straight. So if his, okay, if his IQ is 510, right? And Senku's IQ is, what? What's, what's Senku's IQ again? Just, let me go back a little bit. 350. Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? I mean, <laughs> dude, this nigga, bro, I don't even explain what this nigga Senku did, bro. Like, is it really necessary to explain what Senku really did, though, bro? Like, dude, 
Like, yeah, look, I understand. Like, yeah, 500 years in, you know, in the future, yeah. But this nigga literally rebuilt the whole fucking planet from scratch. Like, 350? You have Caesar at 500, even though this nigga got, legit got captured by fucking, by law and, and, and the straw hats and shit. And he made, and basically they made him his bitch. Like, but he had 510 IQ though, right? Yeah, 510. Interesting shit, yeah. Yeah, man. But I understand like you. Yeah, definitely. Cars 588. <laughs> 588, okay. Alright, man. Bro, whoever made this list, they they will they must never ever touch another another ever another fucking list that involves anime ever again. Did you just say that, Johan? Uh, Johan is smarter than a nigga who's. Inventions are 500 years ahead of technology. Smarter than a nigga who has literally rebuilt the earth from scratch. So you're telling me that Johan is basically double the amount, is, is twice as smart as Senku is, is what you're telling me. So he's twice as smart as Senku, essentially, is what, there, is what we're saying here. You know what, bro? I'm about to report this video. What the fuck is this? Nigga, 13 high? Who the fuck is this? I mean, told you. <laughs> Who is this person? Who is this girl? Yeah, oh uh, yeah, 50,000 IQ, really? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, 50,000 IQ, right? Okay, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, 50,000, yeah, 50,000, perfect. Just amazing. Yeah, just, yeah, cause like, yeah, just, cause niggas just have 50,000 IQ and shit, yeah, right? Cause that, cause that can be measured and shit, right? Cause, uh, okay, all right, interesting, interesting. Uh, okay, this, this is a troll video. <laughs> this is a troll video. 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 This has to be a troll video. I'm convinced that this is a troll video, and, and yeah, they're trolling us. Okay. I, I, all right, you got me. You caught. You got me, man. You got me. You got me, guys. Yeah, nice one. You trolled me. Uh, a nice one. <laughs> uh, I wonder where Eisen is. Uh, let's see where Eisen is on the list. So I Eisen is gonna be after after you know after, after uh you know this you know this one right, y you know, uh, so Eisen has like what ten million IQ then right is that, that yeah right uh, okay. The greatest scientific genius in the universe. Do you think we ranked the smartest anime characters of all time correctly? <laughs> oh yeah, you wanna know what I think about your fucking video, you motherfucker? Oh yeah? Fucking bitch. My fat hold on. Hold the fuck up. Misinformation.
Did I cook, chat? Did I cook? <laughs> 30,000 IQ. A, a million, a million IQ. Yeah, because you just measure that shit. Fucking fools.